Hello tech people. Today, we are going to make a custom dashboard for our office desk using a Raspberry Pi. It shows the time and weather and even has a to-do list. Let's get started. We have used a Raspberry Pi 02W, a 3.5 inch screen that connects to the Pi directly using the GPIO pins, a case to neatly put everything in, and that's about it. First, we install the operating system. Download and install the Raspberry Pi imager. Links are in the description. Plug in your SD card to your computer. Open the imager. Select the board. Then select the OS. We are going to be using Pi OS Bullseye 32-bit. Install this specific version to use this project. Select your SD card and click Next. Click Edit Settings and then enter your Wi-Fi name and password. You can also edit the default username and password. Once it is done, put the SD card into your Pi and turn it on. For initial setup, you can use a HDMI monitor or do it headless, both works. I am using a VNC viewer. Once it boots up, open the terminal. Clone the GitHub repository of the project. By running git clone github.com slash techtalky slash pi dashboard. Once it is cloned, open the file manager and open the Pi dashboard folder. Go to the install folder. You will have a list of all the commands to install the project in this file. Execute all the commands one by one. This will install all the necessary packages and turn the display on the LCD screen. If you see, the resolution of the display looks a bit off. It doesn't run on the display's native resolution, which is 320 by 480. Let's head over to the menu, preferences and Raspberry Pi configuration. Now the problem is very apparent. The settings screen is not fully visible. Head over to the display tab. Click set resolution. And as you can see, the resolution of our display is not listed. but we can still get a decent picture if you set the resolution to this and then enable underscan. The next challenge is applying these settings since we cannot reach the OK button. Not to worry, press Shift plus tab till the focus is on the tab area, then press it one more time. Now our focus should be on the OK button. Press Enter. Success. Reboot the Pi. It looks much better now. Now we need an API key for the weather widget. Head to openweathermap.org and log in or sign up for a free account. Next, 
click on the profile icon and go to my API keys. Here, give a name for your key and click on generate. That's it, you now have a free API key. Copy this key and save it. Next, on your Raspberry Pi, hover over your Wi-Fi icon to see the IP address of the device and save that too. Then run python dashboard.py. Your dashboard will start and run, but there will be no data. To add data to your dashboard, open the Pi's IP address from any device on the same network, like a mobile phone, and add colon 5000. This will bring the web interface of our dashboard. Here, you can add the tasks to your to-do list. And if you come down, you add your API key and location data here. To get the coordinates of the location you want, go to Google Maps, then click on the place you want, the coordinates should be here. Once done, hit the Save button. Your dashboard should update automatically. The weather icons are also dynamic and are updated from Open Weather Maps API. The colors and font size can be customized in the code if needed. So if your text is out of place, change the font sizes. Open dashboard.py. In that, change these font sizes to match your display. Change the bottom bar's display text here. You can even use an API to show a daily quote. If you want a different font, you can copy the file to the Pi Dashboard folder and change the name here. But if you want to change the font of the to-do list, the font needs to support the checkbox character. And that's our simple Raspberry Pi Dashboard. You can also use your mobile to change the configuration of the dashboard and tasks. Comment if you want me to add more features and make a version 2. Subscribe if you liked the project and want part 2.